Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 893. And if you want to download this workbook, 898-95, click on the link below the video. In this video, we will see to extract records when the value is greater than 75 and sort the results. We're going to see filter and dynamic formula. Now, filter is easy and straight to the point. Our formula method will be dynamic. So as we add new records, this thing will update and it will automatically sort. But filter, you can't go wrong with that. Now I'm going to highlight the exact data set and do Control Shift L. Data, that's just the keyboard shortcut for this filter. Then you simply go to Score. And under Number Filters, you say Greater Than or Equal To. I'm going to type a 75 and click OK. Highlight, or it was already highlighted. Copy, Control C, and then I want to paste it somewhere else. Now I never filter when it was stuff over to the side here like that. You would, uh, if you're ever going to filter this table and have a formula over here, you'd put it somewhere else because notice what happens: filter hides rows. Anyway, I copied dancing ants are moving around just the visible cell. So when I paste down here, Control V, there are my records, and then I can sort down here. Right click, sort, however I want it, largest to biggest. All right, now I'm going to come up here and control shift L, that's a toggle. Now formula. We're going to build use an extra column, build our formulas, and then we're going to convert this to an official table feature which will allow the formulas over here to automatically update when we add new records. Now, this column here is going to help us flag the records that need to be extracted. And by adding this extra helper column and having something flag the record, it'll make the formula over here uh, a little bit easier. All right, now this column here needs to do two things. It needs to, I want to rank them because actually I want the results sorted here. So I actually want the number one here because that's um, the biggest score the number two, the number three, and then the number four. All the rest uh, have to be blank. Now, there is no such thing as a rank if, which would rank them if the value is greater than 75. So we're going to use the sum product function. We're going to have two parts to this. We're going to have two arrays that we're going to have to multiply. The first part is going to actually isolate the values that are actually greater than or equal to 75, and the second part will sort. Now I'm going to highlight this whole column and hit the F4 and ask the question, is anything in that range greater than or equal to our hurdle? This will give us a bunch of trues and falses. If I hit the F9, you can see the trues and falses are positionally exactly where the four values that we're interested in are, Control Z. Now some product can't handle those trues and falses, so we'll convert them uh, with a double negative. The double negative just goes it's like saying negative and then back to positive. Any operation on trues and falses uh, will convert them to ones and zeros, and that's what some product needs. Double negative just happens to be the most efficient. We also have to put them in parentheses because this is in the order of precedence of how Excel calculates formulas is way at the bottom. So to force it to calculate before this, we put it in parentheses. All right now, that's telling us which four values we are interested in ranking. Now, the second part will be our ranking part. Now, I'm going to ask the question, is that value right there less than any of these others, F4? The other way to think about this is, are any of the values in here greater than this? Well, what's the answer right now? Zero. If you look at this, this gives me false, 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 false nothing. So actually when you multiply all these falses times this, the sum product will give you zero. But we'll add one to it. And right here, all of these are false. But when we get to here, if there'll be two trues. We can then add, uh, for this one right here, add one and it'll give us three. So let's check this out. Let's just see what happens when I close parentheses and enter this. Now this can formula can handle arrays. We're doing an array operation right now, but some product can handle array, so I just enter this. That's our 0. And no way. Look at that. Now we have a 0, 1, 1, 3. Now really I want 1 here and 2, 2. So I'm going to add 1 to the end. Now I want to get rid of the numbers when uh, 
it's not one of the ones we're interested in. So I'm actually going to come over here and do an if. If this value right here is greater than or equal to 75F4, then what do I want to do? Then I want that. Otherwise, please put blank. Now there's still one uh, last problem. We don't want a 2, 2. We want a 2, 3. So instead of this 1, I'm going to use count if. And I'm going to use an expandable range. I'm going to say count if the range is B5 to B5. And the criteria is B5. Close parentheses. Now I'm going to lock this one with the F4 key. That means this range will expand as I go down. So when it hits 80, the first one, it'll count 1. Here it will count 2. Here it'll add 1. Here it'll add 2. So boom. Double click and send it down. So 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, now we can do a straight index match lookup formula to extract the records that are greater than 75 in the order we want them. Index. Index formula has an array. The values we want to look up are these uh, players right here. Now I'm going to hit the F4 key twice, lock the row, but not the column. So when I move it over, it, Dancing Ants will move to score. Row number, match. And the match function, I need to look up as I go down 1, 2, 3, 4. Match will look for the number 1 and give me the relative position. So that's like second to last one. So I'm going to use a formula number incrementer inside the match lookup array. I'm going to use rows. And I'm sitting in cell E7, dollar sign 7, colon E7. That dollar sign locks the 7. He, um, locks the 7 here, but not here. So as we copy down, this will be an expandable range. And rows will successively say, how many rows? 1, 2, 3, 4, et cetera. That's a lookup value. Our lookup array, F4, comma, and I'm doing an exact match. Close parentheses. Close parentheses. OK, so what's happening is match is going to deliver the right row number, right? It's looking up that value and delivering a row number to the index. And boom, we get our sorted list. We can do one last thing to not show the NA error. If error, that's the lookup function. We come to the end and we say, hey, I'm going to show a blank, double quote, double quote, if that's an error. Now, this formula over here, no problem. It's a slight amendment for 2003. If you don't have if error, you have to do a count if up there. Now, let's go ahead and test this. Let's um, say this value right here is 81. All right, so then Sue is inserted, Control Z. Let's go ahead and convert this to a table. Now, the table feature in 2007 and 10 and the list feature in 2003 is great because it'll uh, make all of these ranges here dynamic as we add new records. Not only that, but it will automatically co copy our formula down. I'm going to click in one cell. I'm making sure that there's blanks all the way around. I'm going to Control L in 2003, Control T in 2007 or 10. Now let's try it. You can either come to the end and hit Tab, or you can simply uh, come below and type a new name. And then we'll say uh, 98. And when I hit Tab, look at that. The formula is already there. It is a 1. And so we have our, our dynamic formula that's extracting anything over 75 and sorting it. All right, um, we'll see you next trip.